What's going on, y'all? Um, it's a little special edition of Patterson Up Properties. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about a topic that's uh, changing my life, and hopefully it changes your life all at the same time. And it's basically wholesaling real estate now. It's a big thing that's happening all over the country. People are signing up like you wouldn't believe. Areas are becoming saturated with it and all that good stuff. And I say if you live in an area that you know there's distressed properties and a lot of investors looking to buy, then it is in your best interest to get into this business. Now, not a lot of money is required. In some instances, no money is required. But you know, I will go over the one-on-one -on -one aspects of it from a Patterson or Properties perspective, especially given the fact that we recently just closed on a deal and I made $5,000 off of five hours of work. So um, most people can't say that. And the people that can't say that is because they understand this business and how business works and having those kind of different acquisitions take place. And I think it's a beautiful thing that people should take advantage of, especially African-Americans. So reason why I'm talking about this topic of wholesaling real estate, well, it's because not only am I new to it, but like I said, um, making an extra three to five to ten to twenty thousand dollars a month sounds pretty good to me and to most working people around the country and around the world. Now, what is the basic concept of wholesaling real estate? The basics gets into finding a distressed property, like I mentioned earlier, via uh, especially how I do it via social media, source list, Facebook, Craigslist, you name it, whatever. Friends and family, a lot of times, you know, day the conversations you have. I mean, I was just at the post office, uh, well, a um, place called PostNet. It's like a private post office. And um, one gentleman was like, um, hey, I'm, I just got my real estate license. I was like, hey, I, I wholesale houses. We exchange cards. You know what I mean? They, um, I'm thinking about even talking to the owner of the this mail, a private mail shop. I'm like, hey, if you put um, some of my cards um, allow me to place cards in your shop and I actually get a deal from one of your customers, we can split the fee. So say if I got $6,000 off the fee, I'll give you $3,000 of that fee because you, uh, it's like a referral fee in a sense, you know, just, you know, hypothetically speaking, you know, and I, I would imagine that owner, cause I've talked to one of my dry cleaners, same ordeal. And he, you know, he was like, Hey, why not? <laughs> now I haven't gotten to actual deal from one of his customers yet, but you see where I'm going with this, you know, relationships. Real, everybody knows real estate's all about relationships, so that's what you got to do. Now, you can find distressed properties not only via Facebook and other social media aspects, but you can still go old school, looking through the classified ads. You can send out mailers, old-fashioned doing it yourself, or like I do and others do, use the Deal Machine app where you can look in the actual app does most of the work for you. You just got to find the property, absentee owners, and then you sell out the mailers and you go from there uh, when it comes to the actual property in itself. Now, easier said than done. It's a long process. I myself have been in the process of doing this for a minute now. And you, know, you just got to continuously uh, move forward and do what you got to do. Now, and the beautiful thing about wholesaling real estate, what is it? Well, there's no background check that's required. As long as you know how to read and write, you know, deal with actual numbers, go on YouTube and get this information that's out there. Most For the most part, that's for free, the one-on-one -on -one aspects of it at least. You know, you can learn how to do it. And also you can partner up with people, which I'm in the process of doing right now. You know, there's a lot of inventory in the state of Maryland. I don't reside in Maryland, but I know a lot of people who do reside in Maryland. And I know there's a lot of places for that need that, that are up for wholesale in Maryland. So, but this this is the category when you can have joint ventures, you know, do a joint venture with somebody to call it JRs and whatnot. And like, hey, if, if they help, if they can meet up with a buyer and a seller, well, I'm like, hey, I've, I, I've connected the dots. But I need you to, since you physically reside in that state, I need you to go be there with them when it comes to the inspections, checking out the place, and maybe even when it comes to closing, that's when I can get there, right? Okay. Um, and with that, like say, for instance, if I make $10,000 off that deal, I split half of that with them. You know, they get five, I get five. It's a beautiful thing. We're doing very minimal work, but it's just connecting the dots, you know? So that's another beautiful thing about wholesaling in my personal opinion. You know, hey, if I can, I don't mind splitting money with somebody if I know I can get it. And I know it'd be much harder if I didn't have to do it with them, if I couldn't do it with them. So it's like not, not only knowledge is power, but relationships is power, you know, and having the mindset of, hey, 
you know, I we feel the same way, you feel the same way. Let's get it done. Let's do it. Let's let's do business. You know, you see my shirt says, What's your business? You know, that's this is our business, real estate, wholesaling, the whole nine, you know. And that's just that's just how I look at it at the end of the day, you know. Uh, but anyways, back to the story at hand, you know. And always remember to have your separate contracts, you know, for the buyer and the seller. Say if you find a motivated seller, because that's what it's all about, who wants to sell their home at $120,000 and they have signed the assignment contract that you have provided, that assignment contract allows you up to 30 days to find a buyer. And if your contract expires and you pay the seller a fee for allowing them to sell the home, usually I do about $50 to $100, you know, fee. I haven't had it happen to me yet, but if that's the case, I pay them that and thank you for your time. We move on with our lives. If they allow me to extend the contract, then that's when it comes to renegotiations. Okay. Obviously, you know, but if you are successful in buy, finding a buyer within the 30 days of the assignment contract, then you will not have to worry about paying any assignment fee to a, to a seller. Now, how do you make money in wholesaling? You know, well, let's keep it at the one-on-one -on -one aspects. You, you sell the home for 130 or 135,000. When you take, because actually remember the actual price was 120000 So you could take home 10000 to $15,000, just depending. And a lot of times you want, when it comes to the um, wholesaling a property, you want to put an amount at least at fifteen dollars to $20,000 more than what the seller is actually trying to sell it for. Why? Because that gives you negotiation power with the, uh, whichever buyer that you find. Um, and if they say, okay, I'm not paying 135, I'm paying 130, I'm going to pay 125. You still either make, if you didn't make the $15,000, you still make 10 to $5,000. So that's still better than making zero. You know, that's just my personal opinion. I'll leave it at that. You know, you take both titles to the title company on the closing date, then the title company will review the contracts and then the company will issue you a check for, um, Five to ten to fifteen thousand dollars, just depending on what you actually sold the house for. You can also uh, price the home at that price because you know that just like I said, you got to have that legal room, legal negotiation room. Now, um, bear in mind, you know this is the one-on-one -on -one aspects of, of wholesaling real estate. There's a lot more. Uh, with this, such as inspections, negotiations with the buyer and the seller, the hardest part is finding a motivated seller. Um, I know it's NFL season, but you know you're a regular working person, and this might be an industry you want to might that set that could honestly set you free financially for the most part from your life if you look into it. You know, so it's just one way of looking at it. You know. Um, not dissing or dogging any NFL um, fans or anything of that nature. I'm just saying, just add this into your free time that you have watching sports. So anyways, because um, this could actually free up your time if you make it an actual great, um, successful full-time business. It could free you from having a job. So then you can watch, listen to all the NFL you want to. Just saying, you know, just putting a little um, perspective into the equation, you know, because anything that helps gen make me generate more money that doesn't require a lot of my time, I'm all for it, especially financial security. With me, you can have financial security for your family. And also remember that you can start going to a lot of these free real estate seminars. I do that myself, you know. Um, I'm doing it, I'm learning, and I still want to learn, and I still want to be around people that are um, in the business and want to get into the business, you know. Um, but yeah, you know, people who have done, and you can be around people who have done, um, wholesaling or other different, uh, niches of host of, uh, real estate. And then you could build relationships and then you never know it might work out for you in the, end, in the long run. And then you end up learning something. Like I learned something new by going to a tax lien real estate seminar on Saturday. I learned more how I can scale my LLC, how I can build more relationships and with tax liens on people's properties, I can actually, um, and basically advance my financial portfolio. So it's a win-win. That's why I love going to these seminars and I continue to go to these seminars to this day, you know? Um, but that's, that's just what it boils down to networking. And also when it comes down to dealing with re real estate title companies, remember this, make sure that the title company understands assignment contracts, wholesaling that they've done it before and that they do double closings at all at the same time, because that's one thing a lot of times that um, even a lot of the wholesale videos that Diddy isn't mentioned because, you know, you got to get out there and do it yourself uh, at the end of the day. But remember, just ensure that you're dealing with the title companies. You know, it's like you see the shirt says, what's your business? Find out what their business is in regards to do they know wholesaling? Do they understand it? Do they do double closings to ensure that not only do they close with the seller and the buyer, but they close with you so you can get your assignment fee? <laughs> you know, that's what you're doing the work for. So. Um, let's just keep it in one-on-one simple at the end of the day. And remember like any other job, it's always a learning curve. 
you know, no matter how much experience you think you have in all professions, people who have been in there 10 to 15 to 20 to 30 years, they learn something new every day. So in business, it's the same way. Don't be scared to fail because, you know, failure, true failure is failing at something and saying, screw it. I'm just going to go back to doing what's easy, which is just having a job and doing nine to five and not go after any goals and aspirations outside of that nine to five. So anyways, on that note, hopefully you guys liked the video. There'll be more to come once I close more deals in wholesaling. Still new to this, so one-on-one -on -one aspects of it. I'm not going to deep dive into this until I uh, get more deals on the table. Um, there will be a tax lien video uh, coming up um, in the future. So thanks for those who check this video out. And hey, go after your dreams. All right? Do great things. Do great things. Take care.